Welcome back to Darish channel, Darish Zone channel, and this new video is about a tutorial. I want to teach you how to map the the controller on the Commodore 64 emulator, how to remap the keyboard keys into the controller so you can play the, the 664 games all with the controller so without the need the, of a USB keyboard which is uh, very essential for the Commodore 64 games and the, the, the emulator of the Commodore, the Libertron device, has a, a virtual visual keyboard so you can uh, make the input you need for the game directly from the visual keyboard but with this mapping you can also play the game without the visual keyboard or very often use of need very often need of the visual keyboard They're one of the best games to to show how it works this system as is uh, 1942 Capcom the famous show them up the conversion of the show them up why because this game this game has needed the space bar for the uh, plane rolling so you, you have to, to think uh, when the, the, this game uh, was available the, the typical Commodore 64 player has to, to, to play with the joystick and the keyboard to roll the plane is not uh, it's very uncomfortable so with this uh, setting you can roll the plane with the keyboard and I show you why first of all you have to um, to open RetroArch with the combination of the, the, the controller buttons which is a typical standard is a combination of SELECT button and X so if you press the HUT combo you will enter on the RetroArch menu so you have to to highlight the options okay when you enter on option you have to to check the retro joy retro joy zero it has to be enabled and controller zero type has to be on joystick so uh, where the fun begin because you can map the keyboard keys on the some controller it depends obviously of your settings my setting is on Saturn controller but if you do this on the PS3 PS4 or, or Xbox one Xbox 360 controller you have plenty of option because you have more buttons to use so I stick with the Saturn controller for this test, but just to show how it works. So RetroPad, the RetroPad command is a F9. The F9 is the visual keyboard. So remember that the F9 is a visual keyboard. You can on X I have set the escape. The escape button is a, is a a uh, key button uh, which is requested by a lot of um, crack menu which is open when you run a uh, Commodore 64 game so you can exit from these uh, screens with the escape without the need to or open the visual keyboard or, or plug a USB keyboard this is the, the key button the space I've set the space on B but if you uh, through the digital the D the D pad you can select the command you need 
So every K of the keyboards can be mapped on a specific button. Okay, so here I have it. Another two case very important is N and yes, no and yes for the, 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 the trailer request of the starting screen of the cracks and many many of Commodore 64 games have cracked so they need this if you want to enable the trainer so and no and yes are very useful you can set this command directly from the visual keyboard but in that case I have this, I have mapped on left and right buttons of the Saddle controller. So this is uh, the, the most important command are here. You can also set uh, on the shoulder buttons, for example, the other command, the F1, F2, F5, etc. And uh, important, but it's better to leave it as it the start button. Um, recall the the controller ports I will show later this so let's back to the game so we have the the, the, the main menu you, you can enter the game pressing fire which is the by default is set on A so I I start the game and with A I can shoot okay but if I press B in that case where is mapped the, the not died I made the roll you see the roll so no need to press space on the keyboards I can make the roll directly from the controller so very very console type experience and this is the arcade so we can I, I finished my role I have a borrow so I'm on my own <laughs> so sad and this, this game is so hard Let's see if we, if we manage to, to, to finish the level. No, seems not. <laughs> but I have three row. Okay. It's fantastic because uh, this is just one of many games which needs the, the space bar. Then it's so hard. But there's other games like Commando for, for example which needs the the space bar to throw the grenades Commando another classic Commodore 64 conversion and this is the remake the arcade version made by Nostalgia. Okay, you see the, the trailer you can set with the button I showed before. This is commando. Commando in same fashion have the, the the standard fire and the grenades you launch with the, you see the grenades you launch grenades with the space, the space bar. So another game which is, became a very console type, arcade type. You have to consider this an incredible. It is this is better than the original Commodore 64. It's incredible, and the the, the, the modern emulation allow you to to enhance. Not only the, the graphic because you can add the shaders, the filters, but it enhances the, the, the gameplay because it's fantastic feature of the Gibraltar emulator. Not all will know this this thing because so I like to to share this knowledge with the world. I forget to, to show the port. No problem, I'll show later. For example, another game I love, you know, Project Firestart, which is also the, the, the cartridge version, so it's 
no no discus weapons, no loadings. But it's not the point. I want to show this game, for example, need the, the space bar too. So if you press B, you skip the screen. And so oh, oh, also the screen need the space bar to go. And you need the, the space bar another time to enter the game. And so the game is started. You, I, I don't even use it. I don't have a keyboard plugged on USB right now. You realize this thing? <laughs> I made all with the controller. This is the controller. You see the controller? It's great. Project Firestar. So with start, you remember I I talked about this. So you press the start button. You have the port, and when you open this screen, the the cursor will be freezed. To move the cursor, remember Sam. Remember Sam Pray. <laughs> remember always to press the select button to move the cursor and and here you can change the ports some games need the joystick one ports and some games the joystick two so change the ports that you need and then you go on resume and the visual keyboard you can open the visual keyboard also same thing you you unlock the, the the cursor with the select button so you can you can set the, the command directly like a, a real keyboard but it's a little a little less uh, comfortable compared to the directly input on the controller you know so you have uh, more pages you can skip the pages and the symbols Okay, you press the button and you exit from the visual keyboard. You have the complete control of the system. It's fantastic. So now you know this. You you only have to enjoy the fantastic, great, big, huge Commodore 64 library available to you, even on my image or on the image you want. Okay, so thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch up on the next one, bye bye.